you ever wondered what really happens when you sleep? If so, today we're diving into the four stages of your sleep cycle. We're going to break down what your body is doing while you rest and why it matters more than you think. Sleep isn't just about closing your eyes and waking up. It's a complex process where your body and brain cycle go through different stages, each playing a crucial role in your physical and mental health. I'll break down these stages, explain why they're important, and give you tips on how to get better sleep. Now let's get started. First up, let's talk about stage one, or what's commonly known as light sleep. This is the transition phase between being awake and falling asleep. It usually lasts just one to seven minutes, but it's essential because it signals that your body is starting to wind down. In stage one, your heart rate slows down and your breathing becomes more regular. Your muscles relax and you might even experience those sudden muscle twitches. Brain activity here shifts from alpha waves to theta waves, which indicate light sleep. It's super easy to wake somebody up during this stage, and they may even deny they were asleep at all, but it's very crucial in getting a full good night's rest. Now let's talk about stage two, where things start to get a little deeper. Stage two typically lasts 10 to 25 minutes per cycle and makes up 50% of your total sleep time. It's still considered light sleep, but your body is moving further away from wakefulness. Here's what's going on. Your body temperature drops, helping you stay asleep. Eye movements stop and your muscles relax even more. Your heart rate and breathing slow down even further. In your brain, there are bursts of energy called sleep spindles and K complexes. These help you process information and consolidate memories from the day. This stage is like your body's way of telling you, okay, it's time to settle in. Now, this is very important so you can get more deep, restorative sleep. Now, this is where the real magic happens at stage three also known as deep sleep or slow wave sleep. Stage three is the most restorative part of your sleep cycle. It lasts between 20 to 40 minutes and plays a critical role in physical recovery and immune function. In deep sleep, your muscles are fully relaxed and your breathing and heart rate reach their lowest levels. Your blood pressure also drops, allowing your heart and body to rest. Your body releases growth hormones to repair tissues and build muscle. This is when your immune system gets a boost, helping you fight off illnesses. In this stage, if you wake up, you'll feel groggy and disoriented, also known as sleep inertia, so don't do that. It's also crucial for muscle growth and bone growth, as well as memory consolidation. Finally, we've reached the famous REM sleep. This is where the dreaming kicks in. REM sleep is about 60 to 90 minutes after you fall asleep and repeats several times throughout the night. Unlike the other stages, your brain becomes almost as active as when you're awake. Your eyes move rapidly behind your closed eyelids, hence the name rapid eye movement. Your brain activity spikes, similar to when you're awake, but your body is temporarily paralyzed to prevent you from acting out your dreams. And your heart rate and breathing become irregular. This is when most of your vivid dreams occur and your brain is busy processing emotions, solving problems, and consolidating memories. REM sleep is crucial for emotional regulation, creative thinking, and learning. So if you don't get enough REM sleep at night, then you'll wake up feeling irritable, have trouble focusing, and struggle with memory retention. So how do all of these stages work together at night? A full sleep cycle lasts around 90 to 110 minutes, and you'll go through four to six cycles per night. Early in the night, your body spends more time in deep sleep, focusing on physical recovery. And as the night progresses, your body shifts to longer periods of REM sleep, which helps with mental restoration. That's why you might wake up feeling groggy without deep sleep and mentally foggy without REM sleep. And both work together and are super crucial for you to wake up feeling great. Now that we know all of the stages, let's talk about what can affect your sleep cycles. Several factors can influence how smoothly your body moves through the stages of sleep. Babies and young children spend more time in deep sleep and REM because their bodies and brains are rapidly developing, while older adults naturally experience less deep sleep, which can lead to the feeling of less refreshed in the morning. High levels of stress and anxiety can shorten REM sleep and cause frequent awakenings throughout the night, leaving you mentally drained even if you've technically gotten enough hours of rest. Your sleep environment also plays a big role. So you don't want a bright room like the one I'm in right now, and you also don't want a lot of noise. So you want a cool, dark, and quiet room. Substances like caffeine and alcohol can interfere as well. Caffeine can keep you in a lighter stage of sleep and reduce deep sleep, while alcohol might help you fall asleep quickly but disrupts REM sleep, leading to poor quality rest. Irregular sleep schedules like going to bed and waking up at different times can throw off your body's circadian rhythm, making it harder to transition smoothly through the stages of sleep. So be sure to stick to a consistent sleep routine even on the weekends. 
Additionally, medical conditions such as sleep apnea or chronic pain can cause frequent interruptions in your sleep cycle, preventing you from getting enough restorative REM sleep. Certain medications like antidepressants or beta blockers can also impact your sleep stages, altering how your body moves through its natural cycles. By managing these factors, you can ensure that your body will move through the sleep stages perfectly and allow you for better restorative sleep. So now you know what's happening behind the scenes when your head hits the pillow. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out sleepopolis.com for more sleep health information. And we'll see you right here next time. Bye.